All right, once again, welcome to Pudge and Stuff Productions. This is our second video, and it has to do with making homemade meatballs, right? Yes, homemade meatballs. <laughs> well, see, because you were talking about having spaghetti tonight. Correct. And, and you uh, weren't too enthused about it. No, and I thought, all right, what the heck? I said, well, I'll do that if I can make uh, make some meatballs in the pressure cooker. Yeah, in the pressure cooker. Because I've been asked before, can you really cook meatballs in a pressure cooker? Oh, that was the question at work or something? Like somebody asked you that? Very cool. Someone must have <laughs> saw your last video. <laughs> yeah, well, man, all right. Well, anyway, look. Like anything else, this is my first attempt to make meatballs in a power press cooker. And you're probably saying, why can't you just toss them in a pan and be done with it? Well. Because <laughs> he has a pressure cooker and he loves to use it. Yeah, I do. Not only that, but um, I don't know. If you cook them up in a frying pan, flavors aren't going to sink in or nothing like that. Oh, so you're going to infuse the flavors by using the pressure cooker. That's a pretty big word, but yeah. I like using a 6 or $7 <laughs> word once in a while. Well, anyway, yeah, then it makes it, it's going to make them so they're not like really hard meatballs or anything like that. because this right So they're not going to be rubbery because we're going to cook them right, in the pressure just, cooker. Just like the good old Armour Star meatballs that are pre-cooked. Which aren't bad when you're like 3 o'clock in the morning. When you're hungry. <laughs> but anyway, well, anyway, here's, like I said, this is my first try cooking uh, meatballs. And, uh, and he did say that correctly he is going to cook the meatballs i've been delegated to mix all that up that's so. right and as you can see all the ingredients you got uh, i just got this and it was actually on sale today um tomato and basil spaghetti sauce spaghetti sauce that everything's gonna set in and then of course you got your good old breadcrumbs mixing in there and of course your parmesan cheese you really should use the bag stuff shredded but mm -hmm. this is good hey whatever you got in the house right right that's the whole idea a couple eggs um some bob evans zesty hot um sausage sausage which i can't believe you actually requested because you really can't handle nothing zesty and spicy right but it doesn't have the funky flavor that italian the Ita or the whatever that is or i was actually going to get the regular yeah this is delicious anyway yeah and then an onion and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those up by hand instead of my little handy dandy chopper chopper thing because that's the little uniform pieces here. Get them big chunks of onion and the meatballs. Yeah. And then of course a little bit of olive oil. And then you got some uh, salt substitute which tastes really good. And some garlic powder. Got to have garlic powder. And some basil, probably want a teaspoon of that, and some parsley flakes, some fresh ground, fresh pepper. ground pepper, and just a touch of red pepper there, just enough to make your nose runny. Because <laughs> nothing's more attractive than eating meatballs and having your nose run. <laughs> of course, you got a pound of hamburger or ground beef. Yep. And then, and then of course, this will mix these two together. So. When using any kind of ground meat, you should always get some with at least 20% fat content. I, I was going to say that's that 80-20 stuff yep. right there. So you start getting any more where there's less fat content and it tends to burn. So Yeah. So, all right, well, we're going to get this all grouped up and ready to go and be back in a flash. All right. Okay, we're back. Um, have a pound of sausage, pound of ground beef, one medium chopped onion, yeah. two eggs for binding purposes. I guess that's right, right? Yeah. Is that all it is? Right? Yeah. Don't do nothing else, does it? Nope. All, right. all your dry ingredients. Well, probably about a tablespoon of um, what did I say? Um, basil 
basil yeah. and parsley, yeah, parsley, garlic powder, garlic. pepper, salt. Yep. Pepper and salt all mixed in there. Uh, here's your breadcrumbs and your Parmesan cheese. Yeah, it comes up to about a cup. About a cup all together, three quarters of it probably breadcrumbs. And now I'm going to mix it up. Well now if you have like a family of like six or seven, so you might want to go about four or five cups of that breadcrumbs. Make and, it really go a long way. And yes, I did wash my hands before I did this because this is like, if you know me, I'm the biggest germaphobe there is. No, not you. Yes. Mixing it in, and isn't this nice? And this is why I don't do this kind of stuff. And that's why I'm having you do it because I did it last time when I usually make up the meatloaf. And it's yucky. It is yucky. <laughs> I, hate, I hate raw meat. And it's not that I don't love well, see, meat. When I do that, I kind of fold it instead of wrap. Don't you worry what I'm doing, what I'm doing here. Right. You told me I had to do it. Fine. And so this is why I don't do it, because it always turns into some big <laughs> <laughs> thing. And When's the last time you've uh, actually done that? Uh, made meatloaf or anything? Yeah. Oh, actually, I think it was a little over a year ago I made some meatloaf for you, a bacon-wrapped oh meatloaf. Oh, that's right. And it said 20 minutes to prepare lie. It was like an hour. And then it was so rich that you couldn't even hardly eat it. Yeah, a lot going on, that's for sure. Yeah. So anyways, I think I've got this pretty well mixed up. And uh, so I'm going to make it into a little about, I don't know. Golf ball size. little golf ball size. About the size of your palm. And, uh, Not right, too tight. No, just right, just kind of gently the roll them in your hands. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Just like cookie dough. Still what? enough, not enough onions in there, but. Oh, my lord. <laughs> not oh, enough those, onions, it's about all onions. Those are caramelized and you won't even see them in there. Yeah, that, that's what he you says. Get that sauce on there. You'll never there. taste it. Like. When he puts hot sauce, on, hot sauce on everything, you'll never taste it. <laughs> it's true. All right. He's from the South. Can't help it. That's it. Well, hang on a minute. We're going to get these done back in a sec. All right. She made up what? You got 12, 14. 13, 14 meatballs here. Loosely made. About palm size. Then you had plenty left over for what? Another? Probably another 14, so. So, yeah. So, it makes quite a bit. Probably freeze that other part of that batch up for a later use but anyway I've got this pressure cooker on like a searing mode there's a mode on here most of these pressure cookers have them and I put in just enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan set these in let them sear up a little bit I don't want to completely cook them I just want to get them all sealed up a little bit, hold that flavor in, and kind of firm them up a bit. Well, I just need to make room. Make room. There we go. Yeah, see that? Oop, there we go. You just kind of move them around in there. This gets very hot. There's only two settings, like I've said before. It's either on or it's off. Unless you're in the warming mode. But. And that's why I don't eat it. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, you just got to be ready to uh, pour the additional liquid in here. Because you can see here, it's starting to smoke pretty good. But, like I said, just fill the bottom up with a little bit of olive oil. Or whatever oil you've got available and uh, just keep these moving around like I said I just want to sear them up I don't want to cook them completely because when I put the sauce in there I'm just gonna set it for oh, 12 minutes and it'll be good to go and then it's just a matter of waiting for the path to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
I'll let that sit a sec. Mm -mm -mm. Bertoli, tomato and basil. Ooh, ah, smells good. Another good thing about searing up meat like this is this, this pan is already hot now, so it won't take as long for this steam to build up and this to start cooking instead of starting out with a cold pot. Alright, I'm liking that. Now it's probably enough liquid, but a good rule of thumb is always at least have or add a cup of water to this. That way the steam can build up and then it'll allow it to cook because if you don't have enough liquids in here, and I've proven this twice, the bottom of this pan gets so hot that it'll burn the food and cause it to coat the bottom of the, the pan here. And you know, you get one of those little error messages like E3 like mine shows up means the pot got too hot which is a nice little safety feature on this that uh, keeps you from hurting yourself like the old style pressure cookers the old style pressure cookers <laughs> you better know what you're doing with that but this right here is a, enough safety features in here that it'll take care of you so there's about a cup of water right there look at that and mix that up a little bit. Put the top on. Make sure it's on the pressure setting so it's sealed off. And then I'll set this manually for, oh, I'm going to go, I'll go 13 minutes. And then we'll see how it goes. So back in a few. All right, through the miracle of fast time. Time lapse. Yeah, time lapse. Um, Up into musical, musicals, time warp. Yeah, there you go. 13 minutes have gone by. I let the pressure out of here. And the little safety valve dropped so that you, uh, ow, damn it, that's hot. <laughs> so that you can open this up safely. That's another little safety feature. So anyway, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Always open it to the back. Yep, that way you don't get all that big... See all that steam pop up? None of that, but this Always has top. liquid in there. Yeah, a bunch of liquid. Woo! Look at that. That looks good. Bubbling. Homemade meatballs. Look at that. Look at that. Them things are falling apart. Those are absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. And I don't use that word loosely. Fabulous. Other than when I look at myself before I go out for the evening or whatever. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Well, there you have it. Mate, now, if we didn't sit here and, and discuss it, I think we probably could have made this up in short order, right? Probably, what, five minutes to mix it all up? Make them? Yeah. And then... Uh, so probably 20 minutes all together. Yeah, and then, like I said, 12 minutes, 13 minutes on the manually. I set it manually for 13 minutes and then just uh, walked away, and there you have it. So anyway, there you go. There's another video on uh, how to mess around with a power pressure cooker. I'm so. Pudging Stuff. Pudging Stuff channel, that's right. So that's it. Catch you later. Peace.